Um, HLN, as you know, has taken you inside the courtrooms to watch so much drama unfold. Casey Anthony, Jody Arias, what happens once it's over, though? Well, now we want to take you behind the barbed wire fences inside those cinder block walls where millions of Americans, they live every day, including women who become moms and have babies and raise them behind bars. And we're here to meet Anila Ravel. My name is Anayel and I'm 28 years old. I grew up between Queens and Brooklyn. When I turned 18, I moved upstate to Syracuse after I had my first child. I lived in Syracuse for three years and then I got arrested and came to jail. So I actually got in trouble first and then found out I was pregnant. And I decided to keep the baby. I got sent back to Bedford and crossed my fingers and prayed that I would get accepted to the nursery, which I did eventually. I had her and it's been great ever since. It's nothing like with my son. I'm saying this in a good way, kind of, because like with my son, I had to work, you know, and I had to go to school and I had to do all these things. So it's like, yeah, I was a mother to my child, but I didn't have the time to sit home with him. You have to work out there. And it's like here, even though we go to programming, I have more time to, you know, do things with her. Things that I never thought about doing, like I breastfed her, I sit down with her for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. These are the little perks of being, you know, here with your baby. I take advantage of all those things. I have a better bond with her because I'm here, because, you know, we go to program in the morning from 8 to 11. We come back for the count. You know, I have that time for her. At home, you know, you can't go back home on lunch and sit down with your child. Then we go back to program from 1 to 4, and then that's it. We're done for the day. We're here with our child. We get to eat dinner. We get to watch TV with them, play with them, do bath time. So those are the little perks of being here. She doesn't know she's in prison. I mean, the only thing I can say is that the women that's around her in here, she thinks those are her aunts or whatever she thinks, but it might be a huge adjustment when we get out. She'll never know unless I tell her. We just can't take our eyes off that beautiful baby. Uh, we wanted to know how Anayel was doing. So I spoke with her just a little bit ago uh, about her and her daughter, Rain. They're living in transitional housing. She's trying to find a job. She wants to go back to school and become a social worker. And listen to what she said about life outside prison and how having her daughter behind bars actually changed her. I've been, I've been out. I'm going on eight months out. And um, it was very hard when I first got out adjusting. You know, people think that, you know, you're free and it's just like glitter and gold. And that's not the case, especially coming home with a baby. Um, for one, I had to readjust and reacclimate to society, and then she also did too. She was petrified of cars, um, loud things, the leaves blowing down the street, like freaked her out kind of because she was 17 months old and she wasn't exposed to that. When I got pregnant with my daughter and I had my daughter with me, it just it changed everything. Like it made me, it softened me kind of. It made me, it made being a mother real because my child is with me you know like and it just it made it gave me something to look forward to like I wanted her to have better than my son I wanted to it like motivated me I wanted to come home and I'm like you know I'm never gonna put myself in the situation again and I'm definitely not gonna put her through any situation where we have to be separated 